you couldn't keep it solid. Funny how they link up with your ops when y'all fall out. But I'ma let y'all have that bum shit while I ball out. Don't have a fuck to give about you hoes, bitch, I'm all out. Crossing right out of the picture like a fucking crop out. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Sass, and I'm back with another one straight facts. If you haven't already, make sure you drop those comments down below. Subscribe to this beautiful, lovely channel. Make sure you hit the bell on the side to get on the power when y'all post. And what? Let's turn this one. Should like this video? Oh, like this one, this one, this one, the last one, and the last one before that. Do those steps for me and for the whole plush gang team. You already know. But I put on my Instagram. Instagram will pop up right there or right there. But I put on my Instagram on like what's some story times y'all want me to do because i wanted to talk to y'all i was supposed to do like this little mukbang thing or whatever the case may be but i'm not i'm about to go out to eat in a few minutes i gotta hurry up and get the cover team because i didn't know that you know all of this but anyway so the one uh two people say they wanted a story time on college and like how southern was so i would say for me college was lit yeah so i would say for me college was lit like college was lit when i tell y'all lit so when i first started when i first so like okay i would say when you start school or start college make sure you have all your documents together like financial aid yes of course financial aid gonna give you the runaround you gonna be wanting to pay your fees on time you gonna be sending them long lines so get ready for that i would say that but I will also say, like, it's a best, like, I would say for at least a year, stay on campus. Like, it's nothing like the on-campus parties. It's nothing like the on-campus, like, late-night study nights. Like, um, I know this thing at Southern, I know this thing at Southern they used to do, like, around midterms and, like, um, finals. They used to do, like, hold this little, um, late-night, uh, late-night dinner thing, a late-night lunch or breakfast or whatever the case may be and we'll go like like you know just be like a study night um i know recently the past like year and a half they started doing um don't come over here i'm doing a video southern started doing southern started doing this late night pretty wednesdays which would be like um it would be like um see pretty they got a thing at southern called pretty Wednesday. so mostly every wednesday you get dressed up you put on like your best dress like uh the guys wear the tuxedos the girls wear the dresses with the heels you do your makeup you get cute um and you it's usually usually like that every wednesday but like sometimes like whenever the like the semester be going on going on and stuff like that sometimes you know they don't be having it as much but i know the main times that they do have it is the first week of school during homecoming week and like right when school is ending or like any little popping thing that's like going on like that kids don't mind. any little thing that's popping like the grease gonna come out they're gonna stroll um they're gonna have a dj that's all southern known for like having like the littest djs have the djs out i'm gonna put some clips of like how i used to be at southern don't mind, don't mind it y'all i used to be like out there like i love a, a good pretty wednesday um and nothing like a good pretty wednesday but i'm gonna insert some clips right now And yeah, so I just feel like that, like that is a good experience. Staying on, staying on campus, like don't get me wrong, like um Southern they had shade, they had toddy, they had I stayed in Bowley the last couple of years that I was staying on there, but they have university apartments, they had the guys dorms, they had like the um co-ed dorms in the front by the football stadium. Ain't nothing like a good football. What? Ain't nothing like a good football um football game. I used to love going to get dressed up, do your makeup, get cute for a game, and then everybody walk into the little stadium, you know, got your little, the little shaker things or whatever, for the, getting ready for, like, I just love Southern, like, Southern had it, its kinds, which was, the, the, the kind of Southern will be, like, financial aid, last minute, it's the HBCU, they do shit at the last minute, it get real aggravated, they take forever to re release the refund, it just take forever doing certain things but the kind of it like the southern is like a unity like it, they come together like it's not like we all is one like the issues the issues shuffle the issues shuffle um i was in um it's, it's good to get engaged it's some, i'm just all over the place because i get excited when i talk about southern 
but I was um I tried out for Gordon Blues. I was on it for a semester. That didn't last because it was a lot going on. I had work study. Um, I started doing work study the second semester of my freshman year because I had to connect and I kind of cling cling to teachers like teachers that I really really like. And it was a young teacher who I really liked, and she was my advisor. I, no, she wasn't my advisor, but she was close to my advisor, my um my academic advisor. And she was like, you know, I see so much potential in you. You know, you can start working for me. I got a little position. And that was my connect. And that's how I started doing work study. I had met my first, like, actual boyfriend at Southern. Um, what else? Um, I was getting into something about the, oh, but the things that I did at Southern, I was on Golden Blues. It's a, um, they had two um, dance teams. They had the football dance team. They had the basketball pageant dancing and that's the one i was on so i did that then i was on leave it on the leave it on the flow stand battle upload the clip right there but i was on leave it on the flow stand battle um twice and both of the times i was on it the teams that i was on won twice um then i joined dance extra dancing parade and the last couple of years that i was at southern we did that um just doing pageants popping out at a pretty wings and like we work it was late night late night practices i'm gonna upload that late night practices where we would you know be yeah. marching doing like friend stuff and working out and stretching Walk. Walk. um strutting one and two and three like and four and, and you know sometimes you hate it then like i built that they they sister and brotherhood with the people I was on the team with. Like I call them my dance sisters, um, and my dance brothers, because it was guys on the team. And we used to have cook uh kickbacks, smoke sessions. I don't smoke, but I would go because my team throw it through it. And they have like, you know, they cook, we they'll cook, you know, have little snacks. It'd be a lot of times like you lean on others, like, you know, all the, not all the time I had a car. It kinda like my my freshman year freshmen couldn't have a car and i had i had another i had a friend who had a car and she was she said you can only have a car at southern if you stay for at least four hours a week and she had a car and she's to bring me to the store so when i got my car and she was down like you know it just worked hand in hand then like um i know my freshman my freshman summer year southern used to be lit like lit like they had this thing like by all the dorms they had this thing called um the circle and the circle used to be popping like they used to have um i know they started doing what it was uh actually something it was something dealing with the cops like thinking the cops for, like all these cars they, they, they had movie nights um i don't have no videos of that because they only had did it twice in the video they stopped doing it um because it was so much fun you know, but they had this we had like a movie night with a big like on a big like grass by the pavilion by the bluff they had the big projector, um, and everybody come out. They do popcorn. We had a zodical fest, like all of that. We had water days, y'all. Them days used to be so lit, like water days. They had like you know it'd be like a real like fair, but like um like a water day, like a water slide. I'm gonna insert like some video. I have some old little videos of when um I used to do that. But my favorite thing, I ain't gonna lie. My favorite thing used to be um the gym, the gym like. I remember from my my junior year, my first my first semester, of my junior year, to my senior year, I I was in it a lot. Like if I was working out or either I was um then our practices used to be in there. We used to have to go to it's called the Rec Center at Southern, and we used to go in there and we used to have to uh, run around the uh, the football. It's like a football field. You had to run around it, and then after that we come back in the um come back in there. We do stretches. Um, you know, planks, uh, wall squats, split, right and left split, middle split, and all of that. And then after that, we get taught like some cadences, cadences, or caters. And then um, we get showed like a dance routine. And after that, we'll do it, practice it, practice it, practice it. And then it got time for like um, I put, I was in Miss Thicker Than a Snicker pageant. Um, I won Miss Congenial Congeniality, something like that. I think that's how you say it. But I didn't win Miss Thicker Than a Snicker pageant because that was my first time doing a pageant and I didn't know like what to expect. And everybody kept saying, you should do it, you should do it, you should do it. Like I got known for Southern, you, it's good to put your name out there. 
it's good to put your name out there. Either if I wasn't like shaking, like dancing in New Orleans, we call it shaking. If I wasn't like shaking, it was like you know marching wise. Like people knew me for like, dang that girl on that team used to roll. She cut, she killed everybody. She did this, this, this. She could do a slay. She can do back bend. She could do toe touches. All of that. Like I was, I was like on it. Like that was my thing. Like as a then, that's what I missed the most. Like the the unity. Like when I did Miss Thicket in the sneaker pageant my supervisor and the people i did work study with they gave me this little letter if i think i still got it but they gave me this little letter and they wrote like you know we here to support you they gave me flowers even though i didn't win they gave me flowers just to show their respect you know because we all was one and that's what i lo I learned a lot at southern and i miss it so much like enjoy those highs i miss high school the most that's what i miss and I miss college. Um, college, it is some work though. It was plenty of days. I remember my freshman year, cause I, and it's good to go into school, going to college on, based off like you know if you, it's good to go to Southern, um, not Southern, but it's good to go to college and to know what you want to do. Um, if you don't, that's fine. Um, change your major, but at least change it just one time, cause it will push you back, and then you have to pay out of pocket, cause that's what I had to do. And it was a struggle for me. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. But I was a nursing major, as you guys might have not knew. But I was a nursing major. I wanted to do nursing. And I still do like nursing. But. And I love nursing. But I found, like, my mentors. As, like, the, the lady I used to work for doing the work study. She became my mentor. And she helped me realize. She, she used to get on my ass. She used to be like, girl, get your shit together. Like, what is you doing? Like she got her phd her master's everything you know and she only what she was she only maybe about four years older than me she's probably about 28 or 29 but like um but yeah like she got her shit together and she used to be like girl get your shit to get she no her word was get your life get your life and i used to be like so mad and like um i'm gonna insert a picture of her but that's that's wait how you do it that's my i love her that's my go to like i just had a, i just talked to her the other day but yeah um she helped me realize what i wanted to do and i found out i found the easier way to get to that and so that's what um i started doing i i went to um uh, my major is a bachelor's of science in therapeutic recreational wait my my mate my my degree is a bachelor's of science in therapeutic recreation and leisure studies that is my major but with on my diploma it just say bachelor's of science and i knew it was gonna say that because I, I wanted to branch off into doing forensic dna analysis and all i needed was to get my bachelor's of science you know it's kind of an easy way do that or whatever but it kind of pushed me back i ain't gonna lie but i made it through i graduated this lad this past may 2015 i was supposed to graduate in may in may 2019 um because i started going to southern in 15 you know it's supposed to be four years plan of uh, you know what you call them but i graduated a year and a half late but you know better late than never and it's never too late but yeah um that i would say that and another question was um what, it, what, it, what was the question um how was my my visit in new york i love new york if you guys didn't know if y'all didn't watch my last two videos yes i went to new york to surprise my niece for her birthday um but during this hurricane ida in new orleans and it kind of like messed me up a little messed my flight plans and shit up or whatever but um but yeah like i fucked with new york i mean it's it's way different from new orleans like the houses are older model but it the the, the thing about it i like it is that it's big and it's like you know they got a den they got the attic they got all of that shit and whatever the case may be i love that why is it stuck keep flying i love that but it's just so older model looking and it's a little hood i ain't gonna lie it's a little hood like i thought new orleans was hood but no mm -mm. new orleans ain't got nothing on new york ain't got nothing on new york it's like out there like they're out there they wild they you know like i saw like like damn like it's like that but the vibe i loved it i'm trying to go back like i'm really trying to go back <laughs> that might be in the works but yeah so that was that and what made me start doing youtube um 
if you, if you guys didn't know, my other page is Sassy and 2D TV. That was my old page, and I wanted to do it. We wanted to start a channel for plus, plus size dancers, and that's what this channel is supposed to be focused on, but I have yet to, like, do some dancing videos and record myself dancing. I think I have maybe either one or two videos, but that's about it. But, like, vlogging, I mean, but it's about, you know, plus size dancing, and we wanted to showcase that we was actually supposed to do a YouTube, start a YouTube channel in 2017. We'd probably be way up there if we started in 17 because that's when all the people started in 17. But we didn't start until 2018 and started taking it serious. But, you know, it was a little a little hiccup because um, at the time I was at Southern and at the time my friend was at Delgado. So she was in, yeah, she was at Delgado in New Orleans and I was in southern in baron rouge so every time i'll come home on the week and i don't think that time i still was sharing a car so it would be a little little problems with that but that's what the channel was mainly focused on and we wanted to showcase plus plus size dancing dancers and you know want to give back to youtube or whatever showcase like you know because i have a little personality and so does she and you know we was just like this little duo like we was inseparable like we did everything together i always was at our house she was always at my house we did everything together and this was my close friend since 12 since i was about 12 or 13 that was my close friend so yeah so we wanted to do that and that's what made me start youtube like i, I started youtube in 2018 but the channel is sassy and tootie sassy in tootie t-u-t-i-e tv if y'all want to go check that out y'all can we don't really post on that because she has her own channel and I have my own channel now because some shit happened. If y'all hadn't hadn't go watch that, I mean, if y'all don't know what happened, y'all go watch my last video. I mean, my previous videos, maybe about 15, 20 videos ago, you know, um, on what happened and why, why you know, it's separate and shit like that. But that's still my ace boon coon. That's still my bitch. That's still my friend forever. And she ain't going nowhere and I ain't going nowhere. And it's just that on that. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Um, thank y'all for watching. I'm trying to go. I'm going to show y'all a little bit of Chili's or whatever. Because we about to go to, I'm about to go to Chili's. Shit, I'm so late. But I hate being late. I knew I should have fucking been there. But stay tuned for that. And I end the video there.